Thank you. My name is Jessica Irish. I'm a around resident of Bethel, the town of Bethel. <clears throat> like many of my neighbors, I followed this project very closely. Millennium's public presentation of their proposed compressor project at Highland has changed over the course of the project. In public, Millennium has downplayed the extent of the project footprint and has disparaged the public when confronted with serious, unanswered questions. For example, Millennium has repeatedly claimed that the large project, project parcel was purchased to allow a visual and noise buffer for the community. However, based on the most recent 621.17 site plans, which you can see right here, for the temporary permanent disturbance, uh, it is clear that the project parcel was chosen explicitly to fit the footprint of the project. There is no buffer. Rick Gardner, the senior vice president of business development at the Millennium, said recently at an industry conference, quote, the pipeline industry needs to improve its messaging. Uh, since then, we've received lots of messages comparing compressor stations to scented candles or lawnmowers, and we know that it is not true. The scientific data is very clear. Uh, he also noted that when Millennium brought the 80 uh, acre parcel for the new compressor station, it was to provide a buffer zone, which we also know is, no, is not there. The, another point is the national air quality standards that are cited in the EA um, are designed for large geographic regions, and they are aggregate areas. They are not consistent with the temporal and spatial concerns of our local residents in close proximity to the ESU project compressor features. Again, these are maps showing residents in proximity. The standardized 0.5 mile buffer analysis distance utilized by FERC is not suitable to the understanding of the complex localized impacts from the large emission sources. The EA does little, if anything, to describe, detail, or discuss local health impacts from the compressor components of the project at any spatial or temporal intervals. It is entirely missing from their uh, analysis. Concentrations of residential density exist in close proximity to both Highland and the Hancock compressor station projects but are utterly missing from the FERC EA analysis. I recently drove across our beautiful state and I paused temporarily at this very small compressor station at Thinsale. I sat with my video camera for a few minutes and then I felt so profoundly nauseous I had to stop and rest for several hours before I could continue. Uh, if anybody is doubting, you can go and stand next to one, breathe the air and see how you feel. Thank you. Thank you.